Atlas Atlas Launch Control. We are on schedule for the launch of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with the orbital ATK Cygnus cargo resupply module to rendezvous with the International Space Station. The larger enhanced pressurized cargo module is being launched this morning. This is going to be resupplying the crews on the space station with clothes, food, water, and equipment. And then in addition to that, all of the experiments that will be keeping the crews busy. The orbital ATK Cygnus cargo module is an eight-ton unmanned cargo vehicle, essentially a space freighter. And the Atlas that uh, it's flying on is actually the same uh, derivative of the one John Glenn flew into space during the Mercury program in 1962. And then on top of the Atlas, giving the final boost to the cargo module, is a Centaur high-energy upper stage, which we originally developed by NASA. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. Loaded aboard now about 4,800 gallons of uh, liquid oxygen, and all of the countdown activities are continuing ahead on schedule for our 11 11 a.m. liftoff. Status check to proceed with terminal count. Respond. Go, no go. Atlas systems. Propulsion. Go. Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. Anomaly. AC is go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch director is go, and you have permission to launch. Rock, report range status. Range green. Proceeding with a count. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go for main engine start, 1, 0, and lift off the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn, extending the research legacy for living and working in space. The U.S. going to close the controls. Is it good? Pump speed, trajectory pressures are good. HGR roll program has begun. Body rates are good. Cygnus will be arriving at the space station on Saturday, April 22nd, to capture at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, at which time will be located over southern France, southeast of Toulouse. Our D-180 continues to perform well. 